Well, now then, and a very happy new year to one and all. Yeah, we had a very good night last night, me and my dear lady wife. We actually got one of these, how do you call them, fire pits, whatever. We lit that at around seven o'clock, well I did. We sat outside, I was on rum to start with, then onto my Stella. And dear lady wife was on the port. Well at ten, <laughs> at 10 o'clock she fell in the house. She was as drunk as a skunk, bless her. Very enjoyable evening. And at midnight, wow, and I thought we was in Beirut with all the fireworks. Dogs, bless her, they were going me. But yeah, I think it's the first time this year. Well, nobody could do much last year. A lot of people was mixing this year with family and friends. We did what we normally do stay in <laughs> we stopped going out new years on new year's eve in 20 in the year 2000 actually if you remember the plastic as the big bang and all the pubs bars restaurants nightclubs wanted silly money for people to go in we just said no we stayed in and we had a right good night we've done it ever since Anyway, enough about that. So as I say, Happy New Year, everybody. And let's have a great, great year. In all ways. As in growing life and friends and family. So today, I'm going to start to sow some peppers. I've been sat here for about 10 minutes trying to think how many and what. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sow four varieties, six of each. That's all I'm going to do. That'll give me 24, won't it? 6, 12, 24, yeah. That'll give me 24 um, plants. Might need more, so we'll see. And then I need to pot on some more of my hot chilies. I need to make room and move the onions. Just one sec, don't run away, I'll show you one of the onions. Folks, now as you can see, the tops are burning, so I desperately need to get them moved. I may do that today, if not tomorrow. But for the size of that, just for there's, can you see that? Yeah, there's my finger. This is not the biggest, so and I don't know, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you. Oops, I've just watered them so they're a bit wet. And the roots are just starting to come out the bottom. They've only been potted up for about a week. So that's the next job then. I need to move them and get them in bigger pots. Right. Move. I think I ought to move that out of the way now. Um, I'll just put that down there. So. Give me five, and I'll get some uh, seeds and let you know what I'm, which ones I'm going to sow. And I've got some seed compost. One of the neighbours gave it me uh, from a coach last year's, but it won't hurt. And it looks Johnny in his seed sowing compost. And it feels very fine, but I might sieve it, I might not. And the other stuff I've got, Levington's, just going to mix that in with the potting compost. So, right, I'll be back to you in a bit. Well, folks, change of plan. If you can probably know, you've got a clean, different type of jersey on. We always dress for when well, I say dress, we're dressed always, but you get dressed better and proper. 
Christmas Day lunch, New Year's Day lunch, and Easter Sunday Day lunch. Anyway, so by the time I had my lunch and everything, I remembered that football. So uh, I'm sorry, but it wasn't on the telly as far as I know, I couldn't find it. So I've been listening to it. So I'm sorry I couldn't video, so I didn't sow any peppers. What I did, what I've been doing, uh, just tidying up uh, the <coughs> excuse me, the hot chilies. I've replanted some of them, moved my onions from there, put them around the corner, so they're now off not as high up to the lights as what a, what there was and I can move the lights up more as and when needed so that's not an issue now and I've sorted out what peppers I'm going to sow I said I was going to sow four but now it's come to six so uh, let's see if I can just grab up well I need a pair of glasses to find me glasses quickly put these on there's only two seed manufacturers that I'm using one the first one is moles so there's sweet pepper f1 red star sweet pepper f1 Diablo f1 bright star Sweet Pepper F1 Bella Boy. So, and I've seen people and heard people talking about Premier Seeds. So, you know, I've, I did use them years and years ago. I wasn't happy and I stopped using them. But sometimes you have to give them a chance again. So, these are Sweet Pep, Sweet pepper sweet banana and then this one is i got it mainly for the name obviously my name's rob robert and i've got a sister tina and this is called robertina oops let's turn it around for you i think you can see that there make sure i hope you can see that there so i've got some of those just because of the name. So, I'll do them possibly tomorrow. I've got six little seed trays ready, water, topped up with sieved compost, watered on the heat bed, ready and raring to go. Talking of heat beds, yes. I've seen one or two videos just lately, people saying what type of propagators this lot and the other they use. Well, I personally use, I've got two of the windowsill propagators where you get, I believe, yes it is, I'm sorry about this folks. You get seven, little seed trays with a lid and there I've got two which are heated and two that are not heated but the two that are not heated are you've got capillary matting so you can uh, self water so I've got those two and then I've got me two bigger ones which old four full seed trays and they're encased in steel with a thermostat the windowsill ones are not they're fixed so I've got two of those and then you won't be able to see that but in this part where the onions was I've got one of the steel um, heat beds and then running down to the middle 
that is like a heat mat that you put on, you put um, polystyrene down, then your heat mat, and then black plastic, so you don't damage it. And that is on a thermostat. I am going to get another one of those. And then, where the onions are now, at the, around the back of it, I've got no propagators whatsoever, because there's no heat there. So that's where I might normally put the onions and the tomatoes. So I think what I, I was going to do, I think we'll wrap this one up. Now, Bill, I'm sorry, mate. All good things must come to an end. Yeah, you was unlucky, I think. But, and Val, well, if you're still shaking like I am, I don't know. Yes, I say no more, but three points is three points. Well then folks, like I said earlier, Happy New Year to everybody. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment for me if you would be so kind. Now, I did notice today, I'm going to beg on, well, I'm going to beg in, I suppose. I'm on, I think I'm on 641 subs now, I had a, doing this this time last year yeah it's time flies doesn't it it's my birthday on the 21st of January which is another 23 weeks away now I would it would be great if I get to the 650 if not above but it would be nice so if you're not subscribed Give me, you can always give me a nice early birthday present and subscribe. Right, that's enough waffling on by me again. So folks, if you've got any questions or anything about any of my equipment, lights, anything, you can either email me, and that's robsallotmentplot at gmail.com or one word obviously, Rob's allotment plot, or you can leave a comment and I'll answer you as true as I can. Right, that's definitely it, because it's coming up to 13 minutes, and if it goes on to 13, I've got to stay here for another minute. Right, take care guys and girls, see you soon, bye.